Good morning, everyone. I'm going to get started again this morning. So today, I just want to, um, like it says in the description, take a little time to dig deeper into something I discussed in one of my last videos, um, which was a, a method that I learned in CPT therapy, which yesterday I told you guys was cognitive processing therapy. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to start with um, what you use the technique for. So like if you are super anxious, um, you know, it, it really can reduce what you're feeling. Um, it can bring you back to the present moment. So anxiety is a major symptom of complex PTSD, which is caused by the trauma that we go through. Um, but so many people in the world in general have anxiety and really the, the, the most simply put explanation or definition that you can give to anxiety is just being in the future, your mind and your thoughts and your focus is in the future and on things that you can't control. Um, and that gives you anxiety, it gives everybody anxiety, um, but do you know what you can control? You can control your thoughts. You can control what you're thinking. As hard as it seems, I, you know, believe that staying present in the here and now is really the key to switching off in anxiety. As difficult as it sounds, and trust me, it is difficult. You have to practice these methods and it's gonna bring frustration it's gonna bring some not so great feelings beforehand because you have to be uncomfortable in order to grow um, you you're gonna have to, to do things that you're not normally doing and and try new things and cycle through some stuff um, and maybe this won't work for you I can't like I said before there's no one blanket um, cure. There's no cure-all. There's no blanket fix. Um, this is just something to try. It's something free. It's easy. And it's worked for me. Honestly, it's, I learned this technique when I first started therapy and I pulled it out of my tool belt just as recently as a month ago. My husband and I were enjoying a really nice date on the river and we were riding these bikes through, you know, um, our downtown area along the river and we came across this boat ramp and saw this boat and it just really brought back some memories for me it's funny how like visual triggers smells and tastes and sounds certain sounds can trigger your thoughts and your minds and you're triggered in that you're right back in that place and so I was able to use this technique along with breathing exercises to just stay present, um, remind myself that I was safe, remind myself that I was strong, remind myself that I was in control of the situation. And I was able to, like, within seconds, I know that sounds crazy, but I've practiced this a lot. So it could have been something that was going to be extremely detrimental to me and my day and my mood and my thoughts. Sorry, I got dogs going crazy over here. Um, it really helped me get right back into the moment, be able to be present with my husband and our date, um, and it was awesome. So, trust me, I know it's going to be difficult. Like, all great things in life are difficult, and this could be a really great thing for you, and it's super easy. So, if you don't know about it and you want to know more, keep watching because I'm going to explain it. Here in just a second. <laughs> um, the last thing that I want to say before I really dive into it is that um, I want to go back to the before I believed in this. Like I would tell myself over and over and over that because my thoughts were so fast 
and there were so many of them and everything was going on in my mind at one time I had, that I wouldn't be able to pinpoint them. Like I genuinely, genuinely believed that I could not pinpoint um, a single thought because there was just so much going in my brain. And it was such a limiting belief for me and it really held me back um, from ever even trying to get in control of the one thing that I truly have control over, which is me and my thoughts and what's happening and how I react to things. You just have to relearn a few things and, and it can be done. Neurologically, you can rewire your, what sends information. You can rewire that and you can, you can really snap out of some stuff. So let me dig into this. So again, grounding. Got my sheet so I don't mess it up. Five, four, three, two, one grounding exercise. I did not come up with this. Again, I am not a therapist, not a psychologist. I'm just a survivor sharing with you what I use to get through some really hard stuff that I'm carrying around. Um, and this one is pretty good. And pretty easy and it's pretty basic honestly when I was finding this sheet um, there was a website that was like therapy for children <laughs> which I don't mean that in a derogatory way at all um, I just mean it's really uh, it's a great place to start if you haven't been successful in the past um, if you're willing to be intentional about it if you're willing to actually believe that it could work because um, I, I truly believe mindset is a huge deal. Like if you don't think it's really going to work and you're going to give it a try, you're not really setting yourself up for a really good outcome. But if you're, you are ready to, to jump in and you want to try something new, it's a very basic level way to start. Um, five, four, three, two, one grounding exercise. It's a it's a, a way to, like I said, bring you back to the here and now and bring you into the present. And whenever you feel overwhelmed or have those intense, anxious, or dissociated moments where you're not able to, to be present with what's going on, you feel like you are you are got the thousand yard stare going on, um, you just bring it back. You bring yourself back to the moment with the five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Describe five things you see in the room. I'm just going to do it right here with you. So if you want to do it with me and you say five things in your room, we can, let's do it together. Um, so five things I see in the room. My dogs. Um, my painting. My, my beautiful sunflowers. Um, my favorite coffee cup. And my fuzzy blanket. Five things. Name four things you can feel can feel my sweater on my body. I can feel my hair pulled tight in my bun. I can feel the air in my nose. I can feel my feet on the couch. It's an Indian style. I think that was four. Um, name three things you hear right now. I'm sitting by a window so I hear traffic outside. I hear my dogs playing with each other. And I hear my, my breathing. It's pretty quiet in here, so I can hear my breathing. Two things you can smell. I can smell the rain. I just opened the door, so I can, it's raining outside. I can smell the rain, and I can smell my coffee. And name one good thing about yourself. I'm helpful. I try to be helpful. Um, when I learned this, it was name one, because it's all the senses, it was name one thing you can taste. And so I could smell my coffee, but I can also taste my coffee. Um, so again, five things you can see, four things you can feel or touch, three things you can hear, and two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste, or one good thing about yourself. I really actually like that we should be praising ourselves and lifting ourselves up so I already feel calmer I feel more connected to my environment I love this exercise and once you do it a couple times you really get you 
it, it's way easier to remember the order and remember and that's another thing don't get caught up. if you mess up it's okay it's okay don't worry about if you accidentally say three things that you hear instead of the four or if you mix up the order honestly the purpose of it is like I said to bring you back into your environment you're, you're looking around for the different senses to trigger your brain to know that you are here in the present and that everything is okay if it wasn't okay you wouldn't be able to do this because you'd be in flight or flight and you'd be like trying to escape danger which I you know that's what you should be doing but most likely when you're doing these exercises you're triggered and your mind and body think that you are back in that situation but you're really not you are actually safe and you're in the here and now <clears throat> excuse me you're in the here and now and you just need to remind yourself and like I said your mind and your thoughts are your body and there's a, a wonderful book um, body keeps the score I'm sure many of you have heard of that the body keeps the score I'm blanking on the author right now I apologize I'll put it out there um, soon I talked about bibliotherapy yesterday as well and that is another book that is really um, helpful in understanding why you get such physical symptoms when you have flashbacks or you know sometimes when I have anxiety really really badly it comes out in physical ways um, so after doing this exercise you should feel calmer and more at ease you can absolutely repeat these steps until you feel calm sometimes you get triggered so badly that it just it's oh it's absolutely overwhelming and it's going to take more than one time of doing this practice to get your body calm um, you can combine this with breathing like I said when um, it's the smell so you really take a good deep breath in and um, I know for me and a lot of other CPTSD um, like victims or people with CPTSD uh, have a, a hard time breathing deeply we tend to really breathe very shallowly and um, it gets our heart rate up and that just amplifies the anxiety right so really practicing your breathing and doing this are are two very basic ways but um, you can try it out in different situations try it out first at home when you're already calm and you won't feel as great of the result if you're already calm but the practice will get you ready and will help you remember and maybe not be so nervous about using it and pulling it out of your tool belt if you've already you know started practicing it and started doing it and you already kind of know your way around it right um, so you really may may find out that it works well for you and if it doesn't like I'm sorry um, there are many many other techniques and methods um, to reduce anxiety and anxiousness and overwhelming sensations and dissociation and bring you back to the here and now and um, this is just one of them but like I said it's one of the most basic ones it's very easy five things you can see four things you can feel three things you can hear two things you can smell one thing you can taste and bonus one thing that's good about yourself um, I really hope this was helpful I enjoyed sharing it with you guys um, thank you to everybody who voted in the group about what we should talk about this morning um, I have an idea about what we are going to talk about tomorrow just from that so I'm excited about coming to you guys live um, most every morning um, this is something new for me so if you're enjoying it please give me a heart a thumbs up comment on the video watch it in the replay even if you didn't catch it live um, it's good information for everybody for any time of the day any really any situation so thank you guys again for being here with me um, you are worthy you're stronger together thank you for being here you are appreciated and take care of yourself don't forget your water <laughs> I got mine right here have a great day everybody